32-bit versus 32-bit float. What's actually the difference? Standard 32-bit is also called fixed point, is solid. Great quality, plenty of detail, but there's a catch. If you record too loud, you'll clip. Too quiet and boosting it later can bring up noise. You've got to nail your levels whilst recording. 32-bit float, on the other hand, is a different beast. It handles loud and quiet signals like a champ, thanks to the floating point maths. You can adjust levels after the fact without distorting or trashing your audio. It's like the equivalent of raw photo format for sound. Way more forgiving, especially in unpredictable recording situations. And the dynamic range? 32-bit float has a theoretical dynamic range of 192 decibels. Pretty good. 32-bit float has a theoretical dynamic range of 1500 decibels. Yes, it's overkill. No, your ears will never be able to hear that, but it makes post-processing so much easier. So why don't we see it in desktop audio interfaces? Mainly cost. 32-bit float needs two analog to digital converters per input, and when you've got eight or more channels, that adds up. Plus, in a controlled studio setup, you're not exactly riding the game all the time because it's controlled. But in the wild, on location, zero second chances, fast setup times, just hit record, sort it out later, no regrets. If you want to see the deeper dive of this video, it is linked in the normal place, and I'll see you there.